What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are discussing your data analyst salary. Now, in this video, we're going to pretend that you just got a job offer. They just sent you the email. You pulled it up and you're examining the different pieces of the actual offer. And it's not just your base salary, which is something we're going to talk about. There's a lot of different factors or other things that may be involved in your offer, depending on the company that you're working for. And so understanding all of those things are really important to make sure that you can properly negotiate as well as know that they're paying you what you're actually worth. Now, when you open this job offer, there's going to be different pieces and different things that add up to your total compensation. The most obvious one is going to be the base pay or the salary. And so that is the first one that we're going to be looking at. And this one is the most straightforward. They're going to offer you $65,000 per year. And typically you're gonna get paid every two weeks, at least that's how it's done in the US. And so the base salary is probably the easiest part to understand, that's what most people look at when you actually receive a job offer. And honestly, one of the best places that I found that has pretty accurate salaries is Glassdoor. So let me show you Glassdoor really quick just so you can see kind of how it's used. All right, so right here we have the data analyst salaries for Dallas, Texas, and honestly, it's almost dead on. Um, and it really aligns with my progression as a data analyst in the Dallas area. So I started out as 47,000 and then right around my second year, third year, I was making right in 63,000 my second job and then 76 my next job. And so um, this is really, really accurate. And then the um, additional ca cash compensation, which is like a bonus, I was making an 8% bonus. So I think I was making like uh, 6,000 uh, right at um, the three year mark. And so again, super accurate. This to me is a really great place to just check. So put in the data analyst and put in your location and see what comes up. Um, and honestly, I've, I found this to be really, really accurate. So again, that is base pay, that is the salary and probably the most important part of your job offer because that's where most of the money is coming from. But there are other things that we need to look into. So let's move along to the bonus. Now, there are about three main different ways that you can earn a bonus. The first one is just a flat bonus. Let's say it's 10% and they'll give it to you if you do well. So if you have a good performance throughout the year, you meet your goals that you created, you get your 10%, perfect. So the second type of bonus is kind of a variable bonus and depends on how the company does. So let's say, you know, they say at 10%, if the company kind of breaks even for that year, or if they meet kind of the bare minimum of their standards, if they exceed all of their standards, you can get up to like 15% or a 20% bonus. Or if they don't do well that year, maybe you're only getting a 5% bonus or no bonus at all. And so there's a little bit of a, a risk to this one, but there can be more reward as well. And then there is a third type of bonus, one that is the least popular, the one that you see the least. And that's usually linked towards if you're kind of doing like uh, consulting or specific types of data analyst work. So if you meet like a certain uh, milestone, you'll get a 5% bonus. If you meet a different milestone, 10% bonus, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I usually see this one in consulting more than anything. The next part of the job offer that we're gonna look at is stock options. And a lot more companies are starting to do this, especially startups and larger tech companies are starting to do this to attract and retain people longer. And so stock options are stocks of that company that you are going to get as long as you work there. But this one is a little bit trickier. So usually there is a vesting period. And a vesting period means you have to work there a certain amount of years to actually own 100% of those stocks. So if you only work there for six months, you'll get 0% of those stocks. And let's say it's you know $20,000 or $40,000 worth of stocks, you will now own zero of those stocks. But if you work there for two years, you'll get 50%. If you work there for five years, you get the full 100% of those stocks. And the good thing about this, uh, or the really attractive thing about this for a lot of people is that if the company does well and they continue to grow and their price of their stocks goes up, that initial $40,000 could turn into 50, 80, or $100,000 in just those five years as you work there longer. Now, those are the three biggest things that are gonna comprise your total compensation, but there are some other things that you may actually want to ask about that they are not just going to tell you or give you in a job offer. One of those things being a 401k match. So some companies will match a certain percentage of your salary that you put towards your 401k. So let's say I put 5% of my salary, let's say that's like $200, and I put $200 into my 401k with each paycheck, they're gonna match that and put $200 as well in there. And they're basically doubling your contribution towards your 401k. And that can add up to a ton of money in the future. 
And that is something that you should ask about, especially if you have like two competing offers and they're really close, this could push it over the edge. And honestly is one that almost everybody does, especially as they get older, almost everybody's contributing to that. And if they don't have that option, you can be losing out on a ton of money over the long term. The next thing that you may want to ask about is if they have an ESPP, which is an employee stock purchasing program. This is where you can buy your company's stocks at a discount. Now, not every company is going to have this. Obviously, they have to have stocks, but if they do, you can ask if they have that program. So for my company, you can buy it at a 15% discount. And again, that's just one of those things that if you've never seen it or you don't know what that is, you would never even think about it. I didn't really know what that was until I got into my job. And then I learned about it. I was like, this is fantastic. I wish I had known about that before I actually you know, signed my job offer. The very last thing that I would be asking about is if they have a tuition reimbursement program. And some companies, it's not called a tuition reimbursement program. It's just a tuition program or something like that. But they will pay for you to go back to school or to finish a degree or something like that. For instance, my company will pay up to like $6,000 per year towards my education on basically anything I want, as long as it's within the field that I work in. So if I wanted to go back and get my master's over the course of like three years and take like two or three courses per semester, that would basically cover my entire tuition. Uh, I don't plan on doing that right now, but if I wanted to, I could do that. And that may be extremely valuable to you, especially if you're wanting to go back and get a degree. One other thing that you can ask about is healthcare and looking at their healthcare options. Uh, not every company is gonna disclose that, although the company that I work for now did show me that before I actually signed on, which was fantastic because I knew exactly how much I could be paying for my entire family of five uh, before I actually signed on. And those prices can vary widely. If you know U.S. healthcare, it is insane. And so if you know that beforehand, it can be extremely helpful. So those are all the things that I would be looking at. Again, you're going to get your job offer and it's going to have the salary, the bonus, and it's going to maybe have uh, some stock options. But there are other things that comprise, you know, what you're actually going to be making out of this job. My company has a total compensation package within our uh, kind of portal that we have for employees. And it breaks down all of these things. And so it can show me exactly how much I am uh, receiving from the company. And those are things that you should be asking about and looking at when you're actually trying to accept a job. So I hope that when you get that job offer, you understand it a little bit better and can make a better decision on whether to accept or negotiate that deal uh, based on all the things that we have talked about today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next video.